Hey guys, uh, today we are going to make a extensive video, long video about um, the new software for agents uh, for software A. So this will be uh, a really long video. I'm, I hope to cover everything uh, so you can see what to do, how to do it, how to modify, how not to change, whatever. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send an email to customer service, um, okay, and you're going to be able to log in using Demo365, Password Demo365. Sometimes it would change because there's a lot of people that just log in and play around with the demo account. So right now, let's go ahead and log in. Okay. Uh, no, okay, so this is actually something that um, you're gonna see once you log in. Um, the billing department or any update that we do, it's gonna pop up on the system like this comment that I'm highlighting. All you have to do is hit continue, and this will be the uh, landing page for agents, okay? So Real quick, you're going to be able to see how many active players you have, what's your figure for the day, what's your figure for the week, how many wagers got deleted, um, and that will be for yourself and for any sub-agent or any uh, player under you, if you're a master agent. You're going to be able to also see uh, who logged in, the IP address on the bottom, at what time they logged in and where are they logging in from any close accounts so for example if you have a sub agent or uh, somebody who has access to your account that may close the, the accounts for any reason you're gonna be able to tell right off the bat when you log in then manual place manual place are something new that we're doing um, with the software Meaning that you are able to submit any manual place. So for example, if an, if one of your players calls you and says, Hey, I saw this bed somewhere else. Uh, can you take it? If you confirm and you want to take the bed, you could go ahead and just submit the manual play uh, here under the ticket writer. Uh, I'm not going to click on it because I'm going to try to go type by tap remember this is going to be a long video okay so uh those will be the manual place so if you want to take any action from something that you may not have on the website and somebody calls you and says hey i saw this on uh bobada or i saw this in uh, i don't know or you or you just want to make a personal bet maybe um like, I don't know, uh, is the kid from your friend going to be a boy or girl? And you want to make a, you want to make a wager on that? Hey, be my guest. You could go ahead and put it on the system and then grade it. And the system will keep track of who owes you money, and how much, and the reason why. So just personal wagers, uh, it will be specified here in manual place. So pretty much, let's go to basics. Um, if you go to figures... Now, we don't have any active wagers on this account because it's a demo account. But if you go to here, you can see active or all. You want to see it by group or normal. So I'm going to just click on it. I'm going to say all. See, it's going to show you all the different uh, players that we have registered uh, under this demo account. And now you could also go here, change it, and you can select whatever you don't want to um, show up on the, on the website. So, for example, you could remove dates, uh, carryover, balance, uh, weekly figures, uh, payments, balance, or you want, or you want to set up, sorry, or you want to set up maybe to see the username and the nickname or the username and the password. So you could recall 
who who's that player, you could also do that. So you could play around with this, edit the information, um, the best way that works for you. Some of the agents will like to see just Monday through Sunday, the balance, no pending, no payments, the balance, carry over, and that's it. Other agents like to see a bonus or a, a free play. Stuff like that. So you could you could play around with this. You could edit however you want it. Um, this will be the present week, so current week. If you want to go back to last week or the week before that, you could just simply click on it, and you're gonna be able to see each week by week. Or you could just go ahead and click last week. And we'll go to last week, current week, current week. It's just shortcuts. Okay. Now. Let's go to the player's account. So there's two, two ways to, uh, or different ways to get to the player. You can search by the player ID. So SAP104, and click on it. There you go, you get to the player. Or you could go back and just click on SAP1004. There you go, you land on it. Or you could go to the three little lines and look for one that says, um, let me see if I can find it here. Player list. And you can look for the player list. Now, player list has way more details um, and easier to see, but those are the three ways that you could find your player. So some of the agents, depending on what they're looking for, they could go ahead and click on search. Other players would just uh, go to customer list. And like, like I said, you can see everything. You can see pending, settle figures, credit, temporary credit. Um, I'm going to show you how to edit all of that. Last wager. Uh, Previous balance, horses, casino, uh, live casino. So even the cell phone number, if you haven't registered. So stuff like that, you're going to be able to see it on customer list. But let's say that you want to edit something. All you do is you go here um, and you edit. See, And you're going to be able to see all the different information you're able to edit. So you're going to be able to change the um, customer's name, temporary credit, you can set it up, settle figure. Uh, if you don't know what this means, um, I'm going to try to cover it. If not, just send an email and we'll tell you what that means. Um, so, for example, just to help you out, temporary credit is that, for example, well, if you have a player that you give them $500 every week or $1,000 every week, and that week he spends the credit amount of 1000 or 500 But he says, he calls you and says, hey, buddy, can I have some extra cash? Then you can tell him, yes, I'll give you a temporary credit of 200 And the reason that it's a temporary credit is because we don't want you to change the credit limit and then forget how much money uh, it was supposed to be uh, allowed weekly. Okay, so in this case, it, let's say that you have $500 credit. Then if he wants to give you a $200 extra, or you want to give him $200 extra, all you do is put the temporary credit of $200. And you select the date which um, you want the system to automatically take whatever remaining credit he, he didn't use on, on the account. Um, so that's one way to, to give them that and the internet, uh, internet limit and over phone limit. You could also do that. Um, here it has account access if you want to remove life betting from his account, horses, um, any live casino action. You could also change the password. And those are those are limits uh, that you could also set up. Uh, credit limit, 
but you could also go to with more detail I, I'd rather do this, so like this is the way I, I, I like to handle the players. And so I'll click on the customer ID. It's going to take me here. And here you're going to be able to see that has different tabs. It has general limit wagers, pending transaction history and notifications, free play, detail limits, internet logs, and analytics or analysts. Um, on this one, you could go to general as you can see it has way more access uh and way more details general you can see the password you can change the password you can see all the different rights that you're able to allow the player to do or not allow the player to do so for example parlays round robins teasers if you don't want them to offer you don't want to offer that you could also do that you could also change the limits for those in particular or even free plays. You could go to free plays and remove all of these as easy as you can see it on the video or just add it back. Now we do have different videos um, explaining with more detail each of the tabs. Go to the YouTube channel, just look for the video. I'm gonna try to put some links on, on the comments uh like i said this is going to be a long video i'm going to try to cover as much as possible um so going back to this uh weekly loss uh rebate that's in case that you come up with an agreement that every time he loses and he pays you uh you give him a a, a bonus a free play um so of a five percent or ten percent so all you do is instead of going one by one, all you do is you put the amount of percentage that you want the system to do it automatically. Um, so you put it there. The max payout for parley, regardless of it's a two team or three team or five team or seven team or whatever you want to offer, you can put the max payout and the system will automatically cap the player at that amount. Now you can also call customer service or send an email to us if you become a customer if you become an agent and you said you know what i want a two teamer to be a thousand three teamer to be two thousand five teamer to be so on and so forth you could also do that or you could just let it be and pay the, the customer service odds um so you could also do that now there's also we we have this little feature here um, I don't know why some of the agents don't take advantage of this, but it's really handy uh, when it comes to uh, try to remember what players are good players and what players are bad players, meaning uh, they complain too much or it's really hard for, to, for you to collect. And it's just easier if you could grade them. Uh, and the way we did is we put different... Um, rating so you could put silver gold diamond and that way if he calls in you could just check his profile say he's a diamond then he has way more access uh you you could delete some bets from him uh, you could also give him a bonus because he's a diamond player he's a diamond status now if if he says if you're like nah you know what um i'm gonna put it as silver uh, that guy, if he calls in, too bad. There's no way that we could delete a bet. There's no way that we could give him a bonus. It's always difficult for him uh, to pay. And that also helps the sub-agents that you, you have. Uh, when it comes to handling a lot of players, you're always going to have one of those players that you are, like, it's a puzzle for you. If it's a good player, bad player, if it's a keeper, not a keeper, so it's just easier to grade the player. Um, that way you could keep him in mind, keep him in mind uh, for future rights or offers or promotions. So you could also do that. Now, uh, what else we could see here? Any private comments? That's another thing that we could do. Um, if you want to put a comment on the player, so for example, this player is not allowed to uh, call in 
for any reason to cancel a bet, regardless if the line is still the same. Or this player is going to call in asking for a bonus. Please offer him a free play every time he calls of a 10%. So you could also do that. Um, so you can leave a comment. That way you and your sub-agents can also detect um, what kind of player he is. Okay. So now let's move on here before it ties me out. Uh, go to limits. Now under limits, like I said, there's different videos that we have. Uh, on YouTube, so all you do is put limits on the search with the name of the per head, uh, per head 365, and then you can see a, a video just for limits. But the limits, it's pretty self explanatory. It's the way that you control the max payout for a contest, the max payout for a parley or overnight limits. Uh, you want the games to show up on the system right away or you want the games to show up six hours before the kickoff and you want different limits um that's really up to you you're you're the one in control you're the one the owner the owner of the um, online site um so you're able to control here now something that i, I always like to mention here is the factor uh, because perhaps also have like a different name for it. It, it, it sometimes it will say multiplier or uh, well, I don't know there's different names that you guys that are coming from another site um, maybe know it as a different term uh, the factor is just pretty easy it's how many times you want the player to bet the same line the same game the same bet the max bet so, for example, this here is saying the minimum bet is a dollar, maximum bet is 500, and it's a factor of one. Meaning, he's able to bet on the Lakers max amount of 500. How many times? One time. So, the only way he could do another 500 if it's the line changes. So, if it's a different line, he could go ahead and do it another 500 with the different line for 500. Now, if you're like, no, uh, he could do it more than once, then you change the factor. That means that he could call in and said, hey, you know what? I want the Lakers for 500. And then he says, you know what? <sighs> I think I want to do it again. Another 500 on the Lakers. And it's the same line, he's gonna be able to do it because he has a factor of two or three or four. Uh, that's up to you. Now, the per game, I'm gonna highlight it here. What's this per head? Uh, per, per game. The per game, it's a, like a global limit. So, once again, let me go back to the um, example here. Let's say he has 2,000. Okay, so he's going to be able to bet a dollar as a minimum bet, max bet 500. He has a factor of one. That means how many times he's going to be able to bet the max bet on the same game with the same line. Okay, now what's global limit 2000? Global limit 2000 meaning that on the same game, including quarters, first half, second half, uh, he's going to be able to do 2,000. That will be the max he's going to be able to do on that same game. Uh, regardless if the line has changed, regardless if it's the first half, second half, if it's uh, quarters, if it's the total, spread, whatever, you name it. If it's a, if it's a uh, straight bet on the same game, the max he's going to be able to play with that game is going to be 2,000. So, another example. He goes in and says, you know what? I want to put the Lakers for 500, and I want the over for 500, and I want the same thing on the first half. Lakers first half, Lakers over. That's four straight bets for 500. Uh, that equals 2,000. He's not going to be able to pick any more bets on that game. Okay, regardless if the if the line change, regardless if it's a factor of one, two, five, whatever, 
that game that Max is going to be able to do in that game is going to be um, 2,000. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out once again. If not, send us an email or contact us. Uh, same way for parlay, teasers, and if bet. Same rule. Uh, if he has a if bet and you have a factor one, same thing. You're going to be able to do the if bet for max 500 one time. If he wants to do it more, yet you have to change the factor. And global limit, same thing. If it's a global of 2,000. The max he's going to be able to do with the ETH bet is 2000 That's separate from a straight bet. Okay? Keep that in mind when you start making the changes. A straight bet global is 2000 It has nothing to do with ETH bet, teasers, or parlays. That's totally different. So he's going to be able to do uh, four bets, four straight bets for 500 each up to 2000 but then he could also do a parlay uh for x amount for the amount of uh factor he has so you do have to try to configure that in a way that convince you that he's not going to be able to make a lot of bets on the same game um so hopefully that helps you too now let's go to wagers Wagers is a demo account. You could see the last 30 wagers. You could even search with ticket number if we had a ticket number or pending. Pending, same thing. You're going to be able to see your pendings. You're going to be able to search with the ticket number of the pending. Transactions. Now, on transactions, as you can see, you can have the regular options for withdraw, deposit, win adjustment, loss adjustment, and bad debt. Okay. Uh, Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, deposit, if he gives you money, withdraw. You take away money from the account. Uh, win adjustment. Um, that really, it's based on, let's say, I don't want to use the word mistakes, but most of the time, sometimes you have a player that will call you in and says, hey, you know what, this bet should pay me more, and you had a limit, because you didn't want to pay more for everybody that you had on the system. But you don't want to lose them as a player. You can make the win adjustment. You can go ahead and say, you know what, you're right. Let me give you the, the difference um, from that bet that had a limit. And the other way around too. If you want to go ahead and remove the money, you could also remove the money. Now, history. You can see uh, football. Once again, this is a demo account, so you can see the total win adjustment, loss adjustment, uh, and how many wagers he had, um, what was the total amount of money he played. So it's more as in, let's say, information so you get to know more of the players, okay? Uh, notifications, it's uh, any comment that you want to put on the system. I'm going to just put this one because it's a demo account. Okay, so you leave the comment, you put how many times you want the player to see. So, for example, you want the player to call you. You could just put a comment, say, hey, call me as soon as you see this. And you can put it five times. You will need to see it five times. After five times, it will go away. Okay, private comments. Customers will not see this. Uh, this is for you. This is just information. It's the same information that you have here. As you can see, there's a different place here. You could also do it. Okay, free place. Uh, free place, you can withdraw or um, deposit a free play. And once again, keep in mind, free place uh, is totally different than cash. A free play, if you give them a $100 free play, and he wins, he gets just the winning amount. Okay, it's not like $100 of free play is going to go back to his account plus the winning amount. It's just you're giving him a free play. So whatever he wants to use the 100, he can go ahead and use it. You do have the rights to change that where he where he's allowed to use it. And um, 
and then just make a free play. So, for example, if you do, once again, uh, Lakers, you give them a, a $100 free play. You could go ahead and make a $100 free play on the Lakers, and he wins. He gets just the winning amount. He does not get um, the 100 free play. It just goes away. It just disappears. If he loses, nothing happens. It goes away. It disappears. Okay, detail limits. Detail limits. This one, um, I'm going to try to see if I can make it easier, easier on you to understand. Detail limits is a limit that you want to set up on a particular sport or spread, okay, just for this player. And the reason I'm specifying just for this player is because we also have something called house limits. House limits is the entire package of players that you have. So, for example, if you have, I don't know, 50 players, and you don't want no, no one, no one across the board, you don't want no one to bet $10,000 on a game, okay? All you do is you put house limit 10000 okay? Now, that would be the max bet that he's going to be able to do, 10000 But then you have a player that he's a real big-time, real square guy. He loses all the time. And, you, and he calls you and says, hey, you know what? I want to make a bet for 11000 So you don't go and change the whole limit for every player. Okay, you go to detail limits. So you go to detail limits and you put whatever he wants to do and you put it for 11000 That means he's going to be able to do it from that point on for that amount, just for that player. Now, the example I gave you is to go over the house limit, but the detail limits can also go take you under. So, another player, you have max bet of 500. His house limit is 10,000. So the max bet he's going to be able to do is 500. But, you want golf to be able to play a thousand dollars, so you go to detail limits and you put a thousand. So just for golf, he's gonna be able to do it a thousand. Or, like I said, all the way around, you want eh, he's gonna be able to bet five hundred everywhere, but you want golf for a hundred. Okay, so you put detail limit for a hundred. And whatever the system will detect that he's doing, if it's golf, it's gonna go down. So it's gonna he's gonna he's not gonna be able to do 500. He's gonna be able to do it for 100. Okay. So detail limit is just to overwrite whatever the house limits will say for everybody. Now interlock, pretty self-explanatory. If we had an IP address where he could see it or you could see it, here you go. Um, you can search for it. If you click on it. I should say the city, yeah, uh, this is in Costa Rica, it's a demo account, okay, now I don't know if we can see here, uh, there's no free plays or no amount, no wagers, okay, if we had more details here, you can see, uh, okay, you can see this one, so, so he made a bet of uh, 4,000, he won, so that's why it says W, and then what was the line, what was the closing line, and the offset, so the difference between the got the line he got and the closing line, and it was tell you so on so forth with all the wagers, and you could sort of analyze if he's being a, a wise guy or not. So see, you could also see the system will let you know that you you've been on the website for a while, and um, it's gonna kick you out. So hold on. Okay, um, if you saw something jumping on the screen, it's because it gave me the timeout and it kicked me out, but I'm back. Okay, now, Ticket Rider, it's something that is really common. Uh, you always get those players that will call in 
and say, hey, I missed a wager. Can you take it for me? Uh, or I missed a game. It went off the board. I sent you a text message. I didn't see it. Or you couldn't see it, whatever. Okay, so uh, can you put it in? Yes, you can. As long as the wager has not been graded, you're able to put it in. Now, if the wager got graded, you can still put it in, but it will be an adjustment. So that's a winning adjustment or loss adjustment, right? You remember that on the transactions. Now, let's say that the wager has not been graded, okay? So all you do is, if the wager has not been graded, but the game is off the board, you click on all, okay? So you're going to be able to see all the different things we offer. Even if it's off the board, because the game is going on as we speak, or has not been graded. So for any futures or um, wagers that just got off the board, you're not going to be able to see it on their open, because they're already off the board. So you have to go to all, and then look for it. So for example here, uh, first half. Okay, there's a few games that have been in first half. Okay, so you can put it here. Now, how do you do that? Okay, well, you go to first half. This wager is already off the board. That's why it's kind of red. And all you do is put $100. Okay, uh, minus three and a half. And then you hit submit. It's going to confirm the bet. And it's up to you if you want to say yes or no. If you want to change the line, same thing. You go here. You go here. You put, I don't know, minus 7. And you put 400. Ah, sorry, I put the dot. Minus 7. Let me see if it will take it. There it goes. Uh, don't put the dot. You get an error message. Okay, so minus seven. Um, if you want to confirm that, all you do is you hit confirm. Cancel. Once again, if it's a parlay, same thing. You click parlay, all, or open, and you just highlight. If you want to see it, let me show you. You select the different parlays you want to do. Continue. And then you're going to be able to do the parlays however you want. Now, you're an agent. You don't have any rights here uh, when it comes to limits. So if, if you get a player calling you in and says, hey, I want to do it for 15000 and your house limit or detail limit is whatever else, it's going to allow you. Okay, you're the agent. You're supposed to know if you want to take a bet for that amount for that player or no. If it's under the limit. So it's really up to you, okay? That's why if you're a master agent, you should really let us know what sub-agents you want this access. Because sometimes we'll, the sub-agent will try to make wagers on behalf of the customer that you don't like or that you don't want to take. So you, you do have to make sure who has the right. Same thing with teasers. Okay, and um, let me see, we're at 33 minutes, so there's a lot to cover here. Uh, I think I'm going to need to make a, another video uh, <laughs> just to go over the tabs. I just don't want to like, over, 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 like, give you more information about this. Um, things that you want to know, maybe, it will be uh, shade groups. Shade groups is um, line mover. Some other people call it line mover, line tracker, uh, lines, just the word lines. But over here, it's just shade. All you do is you click on this, and then you let me know what you want to do. If you want to move the line, minus 260. You want to change it to minus 265. Data minus 265, all you do is put minus 265 and hit reply. That would change the line. See, 
to 260 to 65. So this is the original line. This is the original line. If I were to change it, minus 20. Okay, so this is what the customer is seeing. This is the original line. If you want to remove it, you want to take it back. You click on it and you hit uh, remove line, no, remove shade. Okay, remove shade. That's going to take it back to the original line. Now, you also saw it specify soft shade or hard shade. Um, remove shade or remove line. Remove line is literally remove the line. There's no line for that game unless you come and you put it or you click on it and you restore line. Now, what's the difference between a soft shade and a hard shade? Hard shade is a static line. So, for example, if I go here for minus 120. This line will not change. Nobody's going to be able to overwrite this line. It's going to stay at minus 120. If the line moves up or down, it stays at minus 120. So if you're using a hard shade, you really have to be on top of that. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and remove the shade. Soft shade. What's a soft shade? Soft shade is that you want the difference to be added as the line moves. So, for example, if you put minus 120, let's say that we have minus 115 and it goes to minus 120, then yours is going to be minus 125. If we go to minus 125, yours is going to be minus 130, and so on and so forth. You get the picture. Okay, and that goes for every single, every single line. So, for example, if you go to 8, okay, the difference is half a point. If we go up or down, if it's a hard shade, it's going to stay at 8. If it's a soft shade, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be moved with the half a point difference. The juice and the odds are going to move normal but the half point is never going to show up okay because it's a hard shade if it's a soft shade it's going to remove it's going to move up and down with the difference of a half a point so you really have to be careful i suggest for you to do is if you're going to do this don't log out just refresh the line move the line and stay on top of it okay you could also check the, the wagers coming in. Uh, you go here and you go to emotional motion, uh, monitor. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if I were to put, let's say, $5 here, you can see all the wagers that are coming in with the $5 or, excuse me, more than $5. Okay, wager menu, and, and I, I need to make another video. Uh, but wager menu is what do you want the customers to see or not to see when they log in? Now, wager menu that is actually a profile, so you need to make different profiles. Maybe you can make a profile with no baseball and another one with, um, I don't know, no MMA. So you could just name the profiles no MMA, no basketball, and that way you can know what, what, uh, what customers should get those profiles. But if not, you could just click here and you could remove whatever you want the customer not to see. Okay, so you can select the hour, uh, hide the hide uh, into the day so nobody's going to be able to see it into the day of the event and the time so what time do you want the game to show up okay um let's see let me give you an example so if you want yeah uh, let's see let me go to let me go to basketball 
Okay, so in basketball, if you don't want the totals to uh, show up, all you do is click on total, and it's going to automatically remove the total for that uh, for that person, for that uh, player. He will need to either call you, and you can add it back up. But that's what the wager menu. If you want to remove all the basketball, all the uh, sports, the whole thing, the whole let's say the whole segment of hockey, the whole segment, regardless if it's international hockey, if it's regular hockey, if it's uh, uh, Japanese hockey or college hockey, whatever. If you go to hockey and you hit remove, nobody's going to be able to see hockey. Once again, it's a profile with no hockey. So you can have also profiles with people seeing hockey and other ones not seeing hockey. Uh, let me see what else I could think of that you guys can see it. House limits, like I said, um, this is for the entire package, all your players. Um, so the time that you want the, the, the what do you want the, the uh, limit to be for everybody, for the entire package, okay? Um, let's see what else. Uh, performance, deleted wagers, move players, if you want to move the players around from one agent to the other one. Um, cashier, if you want to make all the adjustment all at once. If you want to add more customers, so pretty much you go here. Uh, this is your prefix, so the letters and the number. So you want, let's, let's say you want five players more. The password is going to be open, and you want the standard credit to be 500, um, max bet to be 100, and um, I don't know, you want to make a deposit for X amount, or just leave it blank. All you do is you hit submit, and it's going to create those players. I don't want to create them because they're gonna, I'm going to have a whole bunch of demo accounts. Okay, um, so let me know what you think. If you like it or not, this is just the agent view. Has a lot of features. Uh, I didn't want to make longer the video. I should make another video. Let me know what you want to see. How to move lines. How to uh, detect wise guys. How to control a particular player that is winning a lot. Uh, what should you base on to control the limits? How do I check for wise guys? Uh, what else can I think of? Um, how do I offer promotions where the system can go ahead and add the bonus automatically? There's a lot of features that we have. Uh, let us know. We could go ahead and make a video or send you the step-by-step. -step. If, if you become one of our customers, we'll help you every step of the way. All you do is look for customers play on the website and we do everything else uh, we control the players if it's a wise guy we'll let you know if somebody's trying to cheat you and we we get the cheating part we'll send you an email uh, we do have a fraud department that will take a look at your players and say hey this guy looks like he's a wise guy or he's a, he's cheating he's doing something you know with, nowadays with technology there's always stuff that uh, will come up every single week, every single month. There's always a cheater. Even on physical casinos, online casinos, everywhere, there's always a cheater. There's always one way or another to try to cheat the system. When it comes to money, that's, I don't know, I think that's human. <laughs> that's a regular human being trying to cheat the system. Um, so we do have fraud department. We could cancel the, the, the account. We could put a message on the account. We could let you know, hey, guy, uh, agent, this this guy was cheating. He's doing something fishy. There's no way to prove it, but there's no way that he's, this is legal. Like, system don't lie, don't lie right? Uh, the odds don't lie. There's, there's something behind the scenes that he's doing, or he's a wise guy. Um, Maybe he's a really good player. He's a sharp player that got kicked out of Vegas or got kicked out of regular casinos. And he's trying to scam you or he's buying he's buying picks. Uh, or there's different players using the account. Uh, that's not 
you're not supposed to allow that. Every every player is supposed to be responsible for the username and password, and there's only one person who should log in, the owner of the account. Nobody else, no robots, no uh, my cousin, my mom logging in to play. No, the owner of the account should be the only one. But, well, you know that, right? So if you have any questions, uh, hopefully if you make it down to this video, that means you, you are looking to open the account. Uh, reach out to us. Let us know how many players you have. If you're coming from another site, we can make you an offer. Um, we could give you a, a hands-on training on one-on-one, -on -one, how to handle the system, how to move the players. We could transfer the players all at once. If you're coming from another site with the limits, passwords, so on and so forth. So that way it's easier on you. Sub agents, we could also do a, a course uh, with them online. Um, so yeah, just give us a call back. Thank you so much for your time. Highly appreciate it.